and you shall receive honey we got some new text messages from melissa feaster Teresa judice from the real housewives of new jersey's ex co-host on the namaste bitches podcast we're gonna break these text messages down they just dropped in real time literally about 20 minutes ago on twitter by gabriella aka melissa's old nose we're gonna get into all of them guys and make sure you put your thoughts in the comment this is gonna take a couple of parts because there is a lot of text messages um i'm gonna go through them as quickly as possible you guys know i always do remember we're talking bravo con we're talking melissa feaster we're talking this incident that allegedly happened with louis screaming at her degrading her and now we have entered into the picture her good friend who is also named Lindsay, who was actually present when all this happened at BravoCon. she did dana's podcast and you're going to hear a little bit from her in these text messages as well um teresa's attorney is mentioned in the text messages along with pat who is the producer of the podcast um there were rumors that they were sort of threatening melissa feaster that they had footage of her smoking or drinking at BravoCon, and she's a nutritionist i mean i don't if that's how you want to threaten people whatever but i mean that sounds crazy to me so um let's get into these enter my southern twang for melissa feister now Teresa has texted me 10 times saying she wants proof that i talked to you aka gabriella and Lindsay and trey fab about stopping the louis hate posts on social media she wants proof it's effing unreal as well the date will be posted in the next clip melissa feaster says um love how kim d a month ago was trying to ruin them and now she's their private investigator and helping them gabriella says they bought her off oh totally she needs the money they are about nothing but money jim was calling and texting and sending me dms all weekend to try to get me on the damn th jim Teresa's attorney he wants pat the producer for namaste bitches on the call and told pat quote you will not be recording until we have our call lindsay Melissa Feaster's friend says, I remember Kim saying that's why she started a Patreon. She needed the income. She's been begging to come back to the Real Housewives of New Jersey. David Yontib was even paying her house cleaner. Watch this. So Gabriella says, oh, I know she needs the money. Roxanne from All About the TRH Losers texted me a while back that Kim is broke in all capital letters. Again, still April 1st of 2024, guys. So we cannot say that this is old. Do you have that text message of Roxanne saying that to you? Gabriella says, I do. Gabriella forwards Melissa Feaster the text message exchange with Roxanne talking about Kim D being broke. Like, she says, hi, this is Roxanne. Hi, sorry my kids, summer camp is over and school isn't um, until next week. So they are with me during the week, LOL. I wish, but it can't happen. Kim D is mad broke and only has an online shop. She won't be able. April 1st, 2024, Melissa Feaster. Because you know Jim or Teresa told Kim that Roxanne's a good one. She's on the team. They are effing losers. April 1st, I'm going to go insane if Teresa's attorney, Jim, is nonstop coming for me forcing me to talk is about the fucking effing social media bs again i think she might have accidentally jumbled her words there but she's basically saying that he's forcing her to talk about the, all the social media stuff it's gonna take a couple of parts to get through all of these messages so make sure that you hit the like and follow button and i will put part two and create a pay playlist for these messages so it's easier for you guys to get to the parts